Oh baby, a little trumpet music I think. <coughs> oh for fuck's sake. What a stupid place to put a pair of fucking shoes. I almost spilled my beer all over the place then, and I nearly broke my bloody neck. Well hello again boys and girls. Here we are once again. Now you may be able to tell I have had a few cans of grown ups pop. But we all like a little drink now and then eh? Now, the shifty looking vagrants in the park love the stuff as far as I can tell. They are professional drinkers I tell you. And anyone that can drink 8 cans of special brew in the fucking morning is a pro boozer. But I'm not here to tell you about what a bum gets up to. No, I am here to share my stories on the effects of downing pint after pint of Madam Confidence. Now there was one time I came back from my local speakeasy, and as per usual, I was pissed up and starving, and because I was wasted, I thought, fuck it I will make a sausage casserole, and it was a complete fucking disaster I tell you. I burnt my hands twice, I got it all up the walls and on the floor, and because I put the pot in the oven with the lid still on, all the screws that held the plastic handle on the lid melted, and fell inside, so after half an hour of waiting for my drunken master chef cuisine, I ended up eating sausage plastic and metal with some gravy. But that's not as bad as the time I went out to watch the football, and had ten shots of a very weird drink indeed, one after the other. Oh man I was fine one minute, and then the next thing I knew, I blacked out, and when I came to, I was standing in my next door neighbor's living room with them staring at me, and looking terrified at this strange drunken man in their house. They said to me, Who the hell are you? And what do you want? Now I was very confused, and replied, I do not know, and left very quickly. But that's not it yet. After leaving next door's house I blacked out once again, and woke up in their garden asleep in a deck chair. Jesus Christ I only went out to watch the fucking football. Now needless to say I had to move house not long after that as everybody on my road now feared for their safety. But that was a long time ago, and I'm a little more responsible now. But saying that, the last time I was pissed I went into McDonald's, and demanded a Whopper. And when they told me they do not sell them I asked to see the manager, and it was then when I realized it's Burger King that sell Whoppers. What a drunken idiot I was. So that's just a few things that go on with me. So feel free to comment on anything stupid you yourself might have done. I am off now as this beer won't drink itself now will it? I might see if Steve Benway wants to play drunken Shenmue with me. Fantastic. So cheers to you my fatties. Toodle pip and see you soon. Let's all go down the pub Saturday night boys all down the rubber. I'm here, Sid's here, and I'll give back the beer. Half past ten comes, we will still be here. This is the place to be. Saturday night, boys, sweet, so your cups of tea. And if Daisy treats us right, we'll be back tomorrow night. Oh, down a rubber da